Welcome back to Wake Up America. A new poll shows President Trump is currently leading Kamala Harris by five points in swing states across the country when it comes to Catholic voters. Now, in 2016, Hillary Clinton lost the white Catholic vote to Donald Trump by 33 points. But in 2020, Joe Biden was able to cut that deficit down to 15 points, helping him win the election. But it turns out in 2024, Catholic voters do not feel Kamala Harris provides the same Catholic connection that Joe Biden did, meaning President Trump could run away with the Catholic Catholic vote in less than three weeks. Joining me now for more on this is President and CEO of 40 Days for Life, Sean Carney. Sean, Sean thanks for joining us this morning. Great to have you with us. Uh, why do you think that Trump is, is maybe resonating more with Catholic voters? Well, I think, number one, it's Latinos. You know, he got more Latinos than anybody in mm -hmm. 2016. He increased that in 2020. I think he'll increase it even more in 2024. Her campaign's also depressing. It, it's celebrating abortion and late-term abortion. Yeah. And uh, Latinos are, are, are pro-life. Generation Z, I think people are underestimating that. They're the most pro-life generation ever at their age than any previous generation at that age because they all have a picture of their own ultrasound. Yeah, you know, so. interesting. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Uh, so back in 2018, uh, Senator uh, Kamala Harris, she questioned a district court nominee asking him to resign from the Knights of Columbus, calling it an all-male society that has taken a number of extreme positions on social questions. Uh, what do you make of this and her attack on the Catholic community as a whole? Yeah, she doesn't like men. <laughs> so she <laughs> attacks the Knights of Columbus. I'm a Knight of Columbus. Yeah. Uh, it's just disingenuous. I think, obviously, this is, this is why a lot of men are running uh, towards Trump. But not only does, does she seem to dislike men, she seems to, to hate Catholics and, and religion in general. And, and I think that that's been very clear, and people pick up on that. Um, and, and she is running probably what most would say a sexist you know, campaign. Mm -hmm. And when you alienate men, um, they're not going to vote for you. Yeah, well, you alienate men. And also, if you don't resonate with, with Catholic voters, I think she maybe isn't thinking uh, how important and how many people in this country are, are Catholic and take their religion very seriously. Uh, we saw President Biden was able to secure a much larger percentage of that Catholic vote than Hillary Clinton was. Um, how do you think Harris will compare to both Biden and Hillary and winning over Catholic voters? It doesn't really seem like she's going to win over Catholic voters. I, I think that she'll lose more Catholic voters. And another elephant in the room that Catholics have gone through that they've never gone through is the weaponization of the DOJ. Mm -hmm. uh, we're suing the DOJ right now on behalf of our pro-life Catholic volunteer, Mark Houck, who had his house raided in front mm -hmm. of his kids by the FBI. That's an issue for people. You can rant and rave about how you hated Obama. He never weaponized the DOJ. Uh, Bush never did that. That. Clinton never did that. Yeah. Uh, Biden did it. And, and people just don't trust Harris uh, or the Democrats on, on the DOJ. Yeah, well, she says she'll do nothing different than Biden. But then last night she said that it's going to be different than, than Biden. So we don't know what <laughs> we can, we don't know what we can believe. But really, uh, where does she stand? Uh, finally, I want to get to this because President Trump is in New York tonight for the Al Smith Catholic Charity Dinner. Kamala Harris, she's not going to be there. What do you make of this message it's sending to Catholic voters? She's I think there was only two presidential candidates who have not attended attended this dinner, her being one of them. Yeah, her being one of them. I think the message is clear and, and it's probably honest from her, which is I don't care about you yeah. and I'm not going to your event. 